Welcome to Saunders Architects at the Architects Meeting in Fori Biennale at Off Events. Uh, short question for short answers. Uh, your name, your age, uh, where do you come from? Uh, where, why did you choose to, to place uh, your studio in a, in a city, in a country? Oh, in a city. Um, my name is Todd Saunders. I'm uh, originally from Canada, but I, I have my practice in Norway for the last 19 years. Um, I decided to actually to, I hitchhiked from Paris to China uh, 20 years ago and I just arrived in Norway and I really liked it so I went back one year later just to work for six months but six months became uh, 19 years. A bit longer? Yeah a bit longer and I, I live in a city, it's the second largest city in Norway called Bergen by the coast and the big mountains and uh, so we, but we work, uh, most of our work is actually it's all around the world right now. We have projects in Morocco, Canada, mostly in Canada, in, in America, Falkland Islands, uh, Cape Verde. So we, we work uh, all over the world, actually. Yeah. Who do you work with? Uh, how did you choose your member? Uh, the people on my team. Exactly. It's uh, a good question. Uh, we, had, uh, we have a really good team right now. Every, my whole office is with me this, this weekend. And... Um, it just uh, we get about 200 applications a week. Uh, a lot of Italians. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody Italian. Everybody in Italy wants to work for us. Uh, but uh, we slowly selected the team. We have a small, small team. We could be three times the size as we are, but we like being a, a tight group. And we have uh, really good designers, and they're from. We have some, a couple from Norway, Portugal. Uh, Hungary, Poland, and Canada. Europe, more, most of all. Yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah, Canadian. We have some Americans sometimes that work for us. So, yeah. Mm. Um, which is your best project of your studio that for you is more representative? And uh, which kind of uh, music would you associate with this uh, project? Uh, the music. Uh, we, we've done a couple. We've, all the projects are quite good, actually. Like if you, the ones that are most known are, for example, the Ireland Lookout. Uh, is this long ramp up in the fjords it goes out but right now we're getting a lot of attention because these uh, artist studios in a hotel we designed in Fogo Island in Canada and uh, Fogo, the, uh, the, the projects in Fogo Island are more like uh, contemporary Irish music whereas the wow. yeah and I think the Owlin Lookout is more like uh, what's the name of this band from Iceland I really like I always play it on my when I'm driving, uh, I can't remember the name right now. Uh, I yeah, can tell you. yeah. Um, there are three keywords that for you are more representative of your architectural research. Uh, can you repeat it? Three keywords. Tricky words. Um, sexy? No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tricky words. Tricky words? Is that keywords. Keywords. Oh, uh, that's uh, it's adventurous. Uh. It's eccentric. It's very nature-based. We work in very pristine sites. We have, we have some projects in cities now, like in, in Istanbul, we're working in a, in a, in a, in a larger project. Uh, it's more of an urban thing. But most of our projects are way in the countryside in very small places, yeah. Mm. Uh, how do you find your work, like uh, um, public competitions, uh, uh, private uh, uh, clients, uh, public customers, uh, yeah. which is the way uh, that you suggest, we, and which we, is the one that uh, you follow? We get all of our work actually by people calling us, uh, and I think they call us because we, we get published in different places, and we don't, we rarely get public work. We're, uh, and in your beginning, uh, how did you start? Uh? It's, it's a very good question. When I, when I went to Norway, I couldn't speak the language, I didn't have any contacts, I, I, was, I didn't have any money at all I was dirt poor I, and uh, and I didn't know the building rules so what I did is I was teaching at the architecture school and uh, and trying to find out how I could get projects but what I did then I bought a piece of land and I built a little cabin and it's been published in Domus and Tarni and a bunch of Italian magazines and it got published all around the world and uh, after that people saw the type of architecture we wanted to make so instead of like going the traditional path of finding projects and not really doing what you want to do uh, we just jumped in and did what we wanted to do right away and we really avoid competitions we uh, i don't think comp why uh, uh, i'd recommend almost every young architect stay away from competitions you use so much energy and time and uh, the competitions aren't really fair and you you don't you can't really make a good architecture because you have no contact with the client during the process of making it. 
and then you look at the amount of hours. Say one, you know, they inv we just we did a competition. Three uh, companies, we all used over a thousand hours each. And it's three thousand hours, and then uh, I could have, you know, uh, in that amount of money we used, I could have sent two or three of my architects to London and went to parties for three days for the same price, and they would have got projects. I think there's an easier way to get projects, and I, I, I completely disagree with doing competitions. Actually, yeah. Okay. But at the same time, these some of the best projects we have, they were one winners of competitions. <laughs> so it's a bit, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say about it. But we, we try to do less and less competitions because we get so much interesting work now where we don't have to go out and do uh. these, these gambling things. Yeah. Uh, there is a, the, a name of an architect that for you is uh, uh, like a, a point, uh, a yeah. star. Yeah, I think uh, because of where I work, I think it's uh, Svera Fenn. He did the Nordic Pavilion here in Biennale. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met him just bef like two months before he died. He was in his 80s. And I was the judge of the Norwegian Concrete National Concrete Prize. And I think his work represents... Uh, this Nordic sensitive, sensitive architecture, and uh, and it's very powerful architecture at the same time. But I, I think he's probably one of the best people to look at. But now he's dead. And in in, in terms of the contemporaries, there's some friends of mine. It's Norway is such a small country, so there's uh, Jensen and Skodvin, Jarmen of Vixnes, and then Sami Rintala is a Finnish architect working in uh, Norway. It's a really good friend of mine. He's a, an old drinking buddy so yeah okay thank you very much to Saunders Architects and uh, see you all around in yeah. Biennale thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you.